Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Erzberg Rodeo Edition. Three helmets, knee braces practice, camel pack practice, four sets of kits, three boots. And all of that is going to go into this nice new kit bag. Protein shake. Some of this stuff for the camel pack. Here's my list. You can see I'm very organized. After seven hours of weaving through the Austrian mountains, we made it to Erzberg. First look at the mine. Oh, good morning. It's Monday. Look at the mountain. Today we're going riding. We're doing the pre-ride or Erzberg, all the boys arrived last night. Some of them rode already yesterday, but it should be good. There we go. Nothing quite like it, eh? The famous triangle of Erzberg. Oh, not bad, not bad at all. Full squad today, a lot of people. Hey, today's gonna be a good day. Eh? Look at that. Erzberg tour. Michelin. Wonder how many PSR they're running in here. I didn't want to. Oh. 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 Down, you ain't got it up yet. I'll just slow down. Yeah, I like that one. Perspective. At the top of the mark. Welcome to Erzberg Rodeo. We're on the mine, first time seeing the sunshine. It's good to be here. Since the sun's out, we're gonna go check the lake out. But it is Thursday, it's Wednesday today. Everything really kicks off tomorrow. So take it all in. When you look at it from here, it's pretty sketchy. I can't believe Skylar backflip from here. Last year, bro. Play. Oh, 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 oh,
Morning everyone, we are Erzberg. It's Thursday now, things are happening. I'm gonna go do some registration. And uh, let's get it done, huh? Hello. Standard procedure. Well, after countless days battling boredom, many games of chess, a long game of Monopoly, the day has finally come where Uzbek starts. So, getting everything done today, and we crack on. Hello. You want to hear? Helmet. Okay. Sorry, sir. Well, we've got to wear helmets here apparently. And Manny Lettenbickler saves the day again. Back three. Like three years in a row now. <laughs> here we are, Uzburg Prologue start. The boys are all here. We'll kit it out, fresh kit from Alpine Stars. Not bad. Bit of traffic off the start. Wop! Conditions are good. Seen that pretty much I think it's the same track as last year so obviously a couple of small changes but we'll see got a bit of spray going on here but so far everything's the same track is pretty pretty mellow keep going hopefully there's something exciting around the corner wow a little wet pop up you know like a little wow over here this is really tight. Still track walking, track riding. Major puddles. Uh, Are you coming? Friday. Very nice. I'm so excited for my new one's back down. I was even going to put new brake pads on my back brake. <laughs> Fresh off the track, straight into the press conference. This wooden logs, it's amazing. Um, and there's one guy on my side. Well, I made it here, you know, 48 years old, so I was just happy to be here, competing with these guys. Yeah, just some result, some kind of result would be good. Or another disqualification, add to the record of disqualification. <laughs> Entering the top 10 at nearly each and every event. You've been the junior world champion. Um, it's uh, good to be back here. It's quite a crazy race and uh, I enjoyed it last year. I got across the finish line just in time, so I'd prefer to not have such a close time to get over. But New for me, but um, feeling very like so um, yeah, looking forward to, um, to the Sunday's race. Just trying to squeeze in a little bit of lunch, you know, in between all the TV interviews, Andrea. You know? Right? Yeah, this is home. Welcome. Um, this is the Riga Racing Pit and this is where I'll be calling home for the next three days. Incredible. The bike is pretty similar to last year. Uh, it's just... It's just such a tough life being so famous. Yeah, yeah. how did you feel about your race there? Oh, it was a bit of an interesting one for me. I didn't have the best result, but gave it a good go. You know, every race can be good and uh, that wasn't one of my better ones. So. What is your goal for this race? Yeah. Do you know what I mean, bro? Yeah, no, not really. You don't? <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Have you seen my watch? Here we are. Oh. We're in the media. Team GoPro. Yeah. Media zone. Team GoPro, we gotta show that. Act like we're doing something. Yeah. I think I missed that one. Triple backflip. Triple backflip. Triple backflip. <laughs> Backflip time! Backflip, baby! Oh! It's Friday now. Friday morning, prologue. We've studied as much as we could. And uh, hopefully we can go flat out today. Feeling pretty confident. I guess. Should be alright. Look at this rig. Ready to go flat out. After watching Rocky 2 last night for renovation, 
better than you warm up routine. What a place. To be honest, I'm not very happy with that. But what can you do? I didn't do any say anything about my prologue, but it went alright. The bike's in one piece, I'm in one piece, so a bit sketchy and not quite happy with my time. I made quite a few mistakes. I wasn't too sure where I was going, so I was a bit nervous to really give it the berries. But I think now we're on 25th, which should be safe, but I'm quite, I feel like I can do better tomorrow. So I will go faster, or we'll try to go faster tomorrow. And I think it's possible. I'm second in juniors, which I doesn't, also doesn't really sit well with me. So tomorrow, open it up. That extra little bit, you know? You can see the elbow is tucked. Ah. Now we got Ryder's presentation, and I'll take you guys along. So, what are the goals for this year's Erzberg Rodeo? Yeah, it was pretty good last year. I finished here and we had a good time. But this year it's a new race and we've got to go hard again and try and get to the finish line. That's my goal. To get to the finish, I think everyone wants to be there. And if I could be there in the top five, that would be I told cool. the people before, you are riding with Mommy, you're riding with Billy a lot. Um, do you guys actually uh, talk about the race? Give each other some, some special tips or tricks? No, we don't talk about the race at all. Everything is completely a secret. We're not friends and we don't help each other at all. It was eighth last year, so uh, there was some, some room for improvement this year? Yeah, there's definitely room for improvement. Always, unless you have the number one board, then there's always room for improvement. After uh, 1,300 bikes uh, riding this track, uh, I, I, I guess it's uh, pretty bombed out. But you think you can uh, better your time a little tomorrow? Yeah, you know, the suspension is really good nowadays, so the holes are not a problem. It's more about if you've got uh, enough balls to keep it flat out the whole way, so... <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna translate this. Yeah, are we go getting ready for the parade yet? We're just deciding whether... These tires are too good. No, this come on, this one is... No, no, it's... Yeah. They're on the border line, eh? This one here... It's still too good, eh? You know what the problem is, bro? What the problem? The problem is we are poor. We have no money to buy new tires. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hard laugh. New tire, but not Michelin. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I'm going to give you a quick paddock tour. Here we are at the bottom of the mine. The start's down there. And there's the washing stations. The paddock seems to get more and more wild the further from the bottom you go. So up first we got the family paddock. Here you can see some nice families relaxing. Okay, up next we've got the special paddock. This paddock is not that special. And this is where my team is. That is pretty special actually. That's my team. We go racing. Look at that bike. What a van, what a rig. And uh, that's a special paddock, as you can see, no music being played, no vibes, and very tranquil. Now we're heading up the hill to the finish area where everything happens in the beer tent. This is the main paddock. Here we're at the factory boys. Lots of business going down on there. KTM. It's just for food. Oh, no, this is where the magic happens. 
the beer tent. As you can see, there's not too much going on. As far as I'm aware, you can get a beer here the whole time, 24 7 here at Erzberg, from Thursday until Sunday. So, not very often you see this place looking like this. We keep rolling up the hill to the next rider paddock. Now things get a bit more interesting, as you can see. As you can see. <laughs> These boys are really having fun on the weekend. The further away you go, the better it gets. What's going on here? Yeah, that's Ishma, yeah? Yeah, that's good, eh? <laughs> Sorry, Ramon. Well, that's gonna round up our old foot cruise and walk for one appetizer. Now is about the time when they put on Ramnestein on repeat for the next four hours. What a place. Put it up. What a legend! We're getting a bit carried away here. Yeah, I was meant to go on my bike, but I didn't end up getting it in time, so I popped on with Billy, which is a big mistake because it's too fun. Crazy. Anyways, we reset, refocus for tomorrow. Hopefully we can improve our time. We'll give it our best shot and see you guys tomorrow. Peace, sleep tight. Right boys, it's taking you uh, half an hour to get ready. What's the game it's plan? For, what's the game plan for tonight? We're taking off with a bit of a 50-50 Bacardi OJ mix. We're gonna, Angus is gonna demonstrate how he's gonna get that into the beer tent. Straight down the pants. <laughs> and there, well, that's what.
Just like that. It Let's just be looks normal. like me normally when I'm walking around, you know, strutting my shit. We've got Red <laughs> Tiger, flavoured vodka. Maybe for Jed's just... UTIs, cranberry juice. Yeah. <laughs> cranberry flavour. Do you no, I just want to be healthy. Yeah. Mate, OG, I... vodka in the 76 bottle. Are you you know, when, 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 when I'm in walking into the tent, bitches are going to be flocking with the <laughs> fucking, you know. <laughs> but boys, good luck here. Good morning all. Another day, living the dream in Erzberg. Trying to improve our town. <laughs> we at the start. Nothing quite like a behind the handlebars POV. Thank you. I wish I could put on my helmet. Oh, that was wild. <clears throat> Hello. 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 How are you? Pretty solid. Really good. How was that? <laughs> yeah, that was alright. Pretty sketchy. What? Not bad. Not bad prologue. I went much better today. Put it in 12th. But my time is still three seconds slower. So not ideal, but it's alright. What can you do? I'll probably be in 25th, 26th for, ne for tomorrow. Which doesn't matter, so uh, we move, we happy, and now the final prep for the main event. Top of the morning, everyone. Look at the weather. It's been raining all night. Just stopped raining now. Actually, this morning. Hopefully, it holds off for the race. But we're in for a wet one today. Gotta to go grab my numbers. Feeling fired up. Wow! Oh, look at the scenes. From the beer tent. The cruise. Oh, smells so good in here. Must have been wild in here last night. Number 22, bitches. Long time there. What's up, everyone? Angus is taking over from now on. So if the footage is shit, it's his it's fault. <laughs> We're about to go to the start. It's half past nine. We've got two and a half hours until the start. And here we are, sat with our helmets on there. What a beautiful race. We just love it. No one really knows what's going on. And it was big time, baby. Position for the, the start. Best line. What do you reckon? Yeah, good pick. Miss the puddle. Miss the puddle, yeah. That's all going to plan, actually. Not bad. Real good to not have too many puddles on the way back and no dust. But oh, what a place, eh? Pretty damn sketchy. Mm hmm.
bomb pump, bro. Just doing some rock climbing, getting over to Mr. Matt Green. Here he is here, looking good. Nice tactic, knock down the big rock that held the back wheel. Nice, Matt, nice. and then uh, made a couple mistakes got a couple people past me and uh, yeah I don't know I was uh, I rode my best went as fast as I could but it wasn't my day and I finished 11th which is all right you know and get the flag is pretty good so I'm a happy boy today I'm happy to have the week finish I'm so happy to be at the finish line <laughs> Well, push. Thanks, bro. Did you win? No, second. He passed us in more next highway. No. Had no some break. Oh, oh, boys. That's a wrap, Erzberg Rodeo. What a wild ride. I'm glad it's over. It's always good to have this flag, and uh, not the best, not my best finish, but we're working on it. We're trying. We're trying. So keep going. There he is, Mitch Bradford. Yes, Mitch. Nice one. He just finished uh, one minute to go. Not bad. Another one. No way. <laughs> William Hall. Finishing up Erzberg. Dog, are you happy? Yeah, happy. Tell me something. Tell me some good news. Uh, Poirot has crashed in your van. 
<laughs> but the French uh, rider. He rode into my van. Is it bad? No. Okay. Was bad. He you fixed want to it. See my photo. Yes. This we is have done have a paper with the insurance. <laughs> Before it was like that. No! <laughs> the van. The door is off. No. Now it's on, but uh, there is still. Uh, okay. Yeah. Disaster. Ah, you want good news. Good news. Bro. We are, I can give we you... are leading the championship. Yeah, we that's we good news. I can give you some good news. You, you've got some good news. You don't even need it. You don't even need to blow the pipe out. It's still fresh. Like brand new. Like, it's not like I've just gone to Carl's Diner today. Not a bad job, Matt Green. Look at that. Not a bad job, bro. Very gentle on the bike. Look at the grips. Only some... We finished up 11. First in juniors, another Erzberg finish, which is sick, but started good. And yeah, I'm not completely happy, but I guess, you know, we're just gonna have to move on. So, Shaka Mahal, everyone. It's been a long week in Austria, and now we go mountain biking for the week. Take it easy. One last look. See you later.